And now for the 543 slow mixed and the railway men in the middle of the continent. 1,100 miles of rail from south to western Australia, as far as from London to Minsk. 1,100 miles, kept going by 345 men and their families. It's for them that the tea and sugar train leaves Port Augusta base every Thursday with supplies of anything from a needle to a radiogram. Departure, 10.47 a.m. A new suit for little Willie at Warramina. A pie dish for Mrs. Harris at Malbuma. Why don't you just say whips of tucker because you've got lots of hungry mouth to feed. All right, Bill. Whips of tucker for hungry mouths and all payment deducted from the men's wages. And with so much aboard, I mustn't forget the most important item, water. There's no water anywhere along the line. No towns, just stops, 11 of them, where the children can go to school. Of course, comes the tea and sugar, and everyone turns out. The latest news from down the line. And for 20 or 30 minutes once a week, the wide, wide world comes to the front porch at Nullarbor and Fisher, Malbuma and Hesso. One doesn't feel so isolated out here with the train coming once a week. We have all the news from everyone along the line. And I remember just recently, I was so very ill and I had to be taken by a section car down to Tarkula. There was no sister there, so they sent across to Sajuna and the flying doctor came along. We stayed there overnight and she took me back to Sajuna with the train sister. And they had the ambulance waiting took me straight into the hospital onto the operating table without even taking my shoes off. Of course, here at Hesso, it's not quite so isolated. We're only 40 miles from Port Augusta, and we see quite a bit of traffic. This sort of life isn't everyone's cup of tea. I remember saying to the missus on the first run out, I've heard of damn war, but this is the first time I've seen it. Settlers and gangers working along the line have permission to come into a stop. They have to, if they want their pay. Want their pay? You don't think we come here for a change of air, do you? I'm counting on a trip to Adelaide. A trip to the city is all right for the bachelors. Once you're married, you, you have to think about the youngsters. What you lose on the roundabout, you gain on the swings. Life's not so bad.
At each stop, the water tank must be filled and your order given to the butcher, who's the only non-railway man on the train. It's a long, narrow shop, a bit different to the suburban grocer's van, but you get all the gossip. What happened to old Bill at Canoona? Or the fight at 1018 mile camp? The tea and sugar is a social as well as a business train. Mothers never miss a chance to take their children to the health centre coach for a checkup. There's never much to worry about. Where there are no people, you don't get epidemics. There's a special move on today. The Nicolini's boy is too big for that cot and big enough for school. So they're moving to a stop where there is a school. I love the sight of that day, master. My name is Papadopoulos. My brother and I make about 26 pounds a fortnight, and of that we send back about 15 pounds to Greece, so that our mama and papa and little Estrina can come to Australia too. Nowhere in the world is a railway as self-contained as the Commonwealth Transcontinental. From luxury express to slow mixed goods train, 543, the tea and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> 